Hello, welcome to another update from Fur Park. Um, I haven't been around for um, a little while, partly because of the whole lockdown situation, and um, you know I haven't really uh, been doing a lot on the double O gauge layout. I've been working from home for the last couple of months, but one thing I have done is started a new N gauge project um, up in the loft on a baseboard which I have built myself which runs along underneath the double O gauge now and it's a lockdown project which I already had the wood um, available and even though my woodworking skills are sort of entry level what I wanted um, it's more than good enough and um, I will take you up there and show you what I've been doing okay so here's the um, double O gauge layout up on the upper level um, and uh, I haven't really done a lot on this other than a uh, running session which uh, you uh, saw a few weeks ago but if we just come down what have we here what's going on people are saying well I can tell you what's going on um, I have built another set of baseboards going all the way around. And there is the plan. So one thing that um, I did have to sort out was the lighting because underneath um, the main LED lights don't really capture um, you know any any sort of light down below. So what I've done is I've picked up some LED LED strip lights um, from a company called um, Nova Stella, and I've got them on Amazon. Uh, 12 meters and they are self adhesive and it, they simply just stick onto the wood I have had some problems with the uh, temperature fluctuations so I have glued them um, but it, it's a simple straightforward um, sort of uh, task to do um, just un unravel the, the reel that they come on and uh, stick them along and they, they really do make a difference and there's a little uh, remote control there and um, it just means that the loft is a bit um, brighter when you come up here and uh, certainly working on uh, the lower level um, baseboard wise I've gone for 9mm ply again to avoid any warping issues softwood frames um, I built this myself, it's a lockdown project, just a bit of woodwork, keep me going, keep me occupied. Um, and as you can see, I've already glued the um, platforms in place. And the plan that I've got here is to involve the main station which is there, which will ultimately be those platforms there. And then we'll have a hidden six road fiddle yard on the left and then just um, sort of where it says distillery there that will be a branch line coming round with a distillery and some sidings and then the other side will have a, a through platform with um, locomotive depot main lines running all the way round and uh, the length of this is a little bit longer than 16 foot it's a bit probably more like um, 17 foot by 8 foot so it's um, quite a considerable run I did manage to get um, one box of track however a lot of the um, companies are low on that at the moment because Pico stopped production but they've started again but nobody's got any but um, I managed to get uh, one box and I've also since recycled all my track from downstairs so 
I've got plenty of track to be able to get on and uh, do stuff. Had a new uh, rival as well, um, Depot. Oops. Um, and that is a class 26024 BR Blue. It's one of the new um, recent uh, ones that they brought out. And I've got, I've got a couple of those, but I thought, yeah, I could probably do with another one. So, uh, got that one. There's the plan in more detail. So, this area here is this area here. Now, you can see I've got a four-road locomotive uh, shed, which will roughly go where it is. We're sort of here, camera angle looking. So, that will go there roughly. And then we'll have the main line coming round. Um, so that's that. There's all my track that I recycled. Um, loads of it. So I'm happy with that. Baseboard over there. It's not quite level, but that is going. Well, I'm not, it's not. It's not level. Um, it's all level and flat. It's not um, quite in line. Uh, that is just down to space constraints and fitting those baseboards in between the joists and using the softwood frames um, bolted to the joists and, and when I cut the boards um, when, the way they fit in and the way that it all shapes up um, these baseboards were actually two foot wide and I had to cut them down to fit them in between the roof joists so it's a bit of a tight squeeze but they're in the level flat but just slightly out of line over there, but that will be hidden anyway, you won't see that. So um, that's no problem. There's the um, the plug for the uh, LED lights, and you have the remote control as well, and you can, you can also dim them down. And that is the light with the main loft light turned off, and you can see just with the LEDs, um, it really does make a difference. It's, it's really good um, and you, you can dim them down um, Yeah, you can make them different colors Depending on what What you're looking for right the way down like that back up again um, Yeah, I've got those on them um, Amazon and uh, they and initially I went for two um, five meter reels. However, using going in each direction from where the plug socket is, I ended up having a I, I basically run out in one corner, and it, it, I thought, no, this is this is no good. So I picked up a, a set of um, twelve meter um, LEDs, and they go all the way round, cover the entire board, and. Um, it, it, they do work, so I'm really pleased with those. I think they cost about uh, £23, I think it was, and they come in a box, Nova Stella. Um, and you get the handset, you get the um, mains plug, and you get like a sort of a reel with the um, strip sort of all coiled up. And you, as you unravel it and go round you uh, just take the um, sticky back sort of covering off and just stick them up um, obviously I here I have used a bit of um, impact adhesive just to um, stop them from coming unstuck that's the only thing the only problem I did think about running a, um, a strip of wood along um, but again it, it's, it's for what I want um, you know they, they're fine as they are like that I mean, you don't, you know, you're not going to see those. It's down here, you know. So, um, my woodwork is um, not too bad. Um, entry level, but it's all, you know, nice and level, not like last time. So I'm, I'm really happy with that, and um, I shall get on and um, we'll, we'll see what um, see what we can do. But overall, it's not too bad. Everything seems to um, seems to work. In terms of getting up here, access and uh, the storage area, and uh, yep, so that was just a quick update. 
so thanks for watching and I'll keep you posted and also thanks to all my new subscribers I've just noticed I've got um, an influx recently so I'm very grateful to everybody who um, is watching my channel and actually you know appreciates what I'm doing um, I'm very grateful for that so thanks and uh, stay safe and uh, catch you again